David Attenborough was walking through his chest hairs, well, that's how he explained the droppings, well, he called them spore of few beds. I said, fancy names, my eye, I said. From now on, we're having separate beds. The single shameless light bulb was so stuck with horrified flies and fat, it seemed to glow through a drunkard's cheek. It salamied the table in red speckles and shone of coziness, and it took the sharp edge off things, and that's nice. For if it were possible to buy a dark bulb, that is to say, a bulb giving 60 watts of darkness, just strong enough to turn day into night, that would be the bulb Mrs. E, the housekeeper of Lawrence End, would prefer. She was peeling rolls into a bucket, and she fix-eyed intently at a grimy manual entitled How to Cook Everything You Have Killed. Christmas present, this here book, got it from that nice old Mrs. Blenner, not what's got that nice lovely cottage down in Wanker's Grunge. Ah, oh, agreed, Scrotum. And she's a kind woman, too. She always uses warm water to drown her kittens. <laughs> Mrs. E nodded happily. Her companion, old Scrotum, the wrinkled retainer, hawked up a bouquet garni and lobbed it into the bucket. He sucked horribly at his pipe. <laughs> You sure you've got to chew them first? It says so here, dear. Books don't lie. Can't I read them? Mm. Meadow potpourri. Mm. Uh, potpourri isn't one.